Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun, and I have another Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to do the uh, scope transition kind of thing, where the scope comes in and then the clip starts. Um, so basically, how when you set this up is you want to get um, your previous clip that that just ended and uh, your second clip um, back to back. And what you want to do is you want to find the spot in your second clip where you are uh, scope. So let me get the and make sure it's on the the spot where you shoot uh, that would probably be best so I'm gonna do right about here and uh, what you wanna do is you wanna split it and uh, delete the part before it and then put them back to back again um, now go to the very beginning of the second clip change your uh, preview to best full then you want to take a snapshot when it is uh, rendered the frame um, so we'll wait that out Okay, so now that it's rendered, I'm going to go ahead and click the floppy disk icon to make a, um image. Now what you want to do is just drag that image in and make a new track. You can drag it above the um, top track and it will automatically create a new track like that. Um, I recommend shorting it about to uh, a little less than, well maybe one second, uh, maybe one and a half second would do good. Um, so I'm going to shorten it up like that and what you want to do is you want to go into the event pan crop and you want to go to the mask you want to check mask and you want to make sure you're in the beginning of the timeline and uh, we're going to go ahead back into the mask and make sure you have the anchor creation tool and go ahead and mask the circular part of the scope Now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick tip if you want to zoom in but you don't have your full area um, in, in the perspective then you can um, at any time you can drag around by holding control and dragging with the little hand so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom in on the top half let's go ahead and do this very roughly um, for the sake of time um, this is not gonna be beautiful but uh, we can make it look uh, pretty good actually um, with a little trick of mine um, well it's not really a trick of mine but it's a little trick that you can do so I need to scroll down so I'm gonna hold control and drag works very good now just um, click back on the last one you did and then continue Again, I need to hold control, click back, let's keep continuing on. Okay, I'm going to go a little faster here. Um, make sure you take your time on this, uh, even though there is a little trick that you can do. But uh, anyways, I'm going to zoom out and uh, go ahead and um, preview what we've got so far. Um, so this is, if it'll load, um, this is going to be what we have right now. Um, go back into the pan crop, go into mask, and set the feather... Um, select your uh, path again go to the feather type and go to both then set your feather to about two or three or four and uh, as you can see our scope looks a lot better now so put that back uh, make sure the end is hooked up where your clips are back to back now go back into the pan crop go into the position this time now in the beginning zoom out and over here on the left make sure it says move in the X only or if it uh, if you have Sony Vegas 9 um, I think you can uh, check it to where only move in the, the horizontal axis or don't move in the Y or the vertical axis something like that but make sure you can only move in the X axis now drag it to the left or the right whichever you prefer um, dragging it to the left will make the thing come in from the right and uh, vice versa so I'm just gonna drag it just out frame and uh, at the end I'm gonna go ahead and restore it so what we have, oh, actually I did that wrong. Okay, so in the beginning, make sure it's to the left, and at the end, make sure it's right-click restored. So now what we have here is if we scroll through the timeline, um, and you can see on the preview of our screen, we have the scope coming in. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, scroll frame by frame here. So you see this this clip is ending, and uh, my uh, preview is uh, very, very laggy because I still have it set on best full. So let me go ahead and switch that back for you guys. Okay, we're back on preview half. Now, as you can see, we're scrolling frame by frame. The scope's coming in, and uh, right when it gets centered, right when it's centered, boom, the shot happens of the next clip. So uh, that's pretty much the effect, guys. Uh, very useful. If you use it rep like repeatedly for like four or five scope clips, uh, it looks really cool, um, especially synced up to some music. So thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, hope you use this tip. Make sure to send in your tutorials, link in the description or the annotation, and I will see you guys next time.